Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Birdies with Boynesy. Out on the course today, longer the 16th, we're in the bunker. Adrian and Charlie, this one's for you. Been a long time in coming, the weather hasn't been great. We're back to a bit of drizzle. I mean, we've had perfect weather yesterday to film a video. Video decided to wait a day and now we're left with this. So let's get into the bunker. We're gonna start off with a normal bunker shot with a straightforward lie. We'll get onto your plug lie in a minute, Charlie. First of all, I picked my 58 degree, my most lofted club in the bag. You can go 54, I wouldn't recommend going too much lower unless we've got to get the ball a further distance. Reason for the 58 on this shot, if the camera just pans around, we'll see the water over the back. We don't want to be hitting this too hard, we don't want to be hitting it too far, and we don't want to be causing ourselves any trouble. So I'm going to get a nice flighted shot that lands on the green and just rolls to the flag a little bit. That's the choice for my 58. So we've had a look at the club, now we want the stance. As you can see, my feet are nice and wide. That will help us get the weight a bit more on that front side. Ball position, just inside that left foot, that's going to help the ball pop up. Now we want to know where we want to hit the sand, just behind. I've done a video in the bunkers before, I'm talking about five to 10 pound notes worth of sand coming with the ball. We don't want to be hitting miles behind and taking this big gouging divot out the sand, just that little five, 10 pound notes worth of sand flying up at the target. Length of backswing, that's going to be different for every shot, but we just want to make sure we're going back, accelerating through, getting through, hands with nice speed through to hit through that sand. The sand is going to slow the club down, that's where the acceleration is key. Even though I've got the 58 degree wedge, I'm going to open it up a little bit more, open the club face, make sure it's got enough loft. Feet are going to be aiming slightly to the left, front foot open a little bit, and then I'm going to be just making that aggressive swing along my shoulder line, letting the open face pop the ball out towards the target. Yeah, happy with that effort. As you can see, maybe a little bit extra sand. Just pulled it a little bit to the left. That's not a bad one for this time of year. Let's get that ball plugged, see what we have to do differently. Right, so we've got our plug lie. A lot of the setup, a lot of the pre-shot routine is gonna be the same. We're gonna keep a lot of things similar, only a couple of things to change. Biggest change and the thing that most people do, most people will now open the face up more. We wanna keep that face squarer because it's gonna help us get into the sand and get through that ball a little bit more. We're also gonna to look to take a bit more sand than that five, 10 pound note. We wanna be hitting sort of two, three inches behind. Because we're doing that, the ball's not gonna fly as high and it's gonna run further. So we want that ball landing a bit closer to us and just chasing on to the target a little bit more. Because we're hitting more sand, maybe grip it a little bit tighter, lengthen the backswing and steal that aggressive power through. Let's give it a try. Really happy with that one. And as per most of my demonstrations, the harder shot tends to go closer. So look at the size of that divot. That's much bigger. That's more the size of my foot coming out there rather than that nice five, 10 pound note. Accelerating through slightly. Must admit, felt like that was gonna go long, but because we're taking more sand, takes the power off, shortens the distance. Even though the second shot was a little bit tougher, I lowered the expectations. I was happy with just getting the ball on the green. When you've got that nice alive, that's when we can be more aggressive and want to get the ball closer, but don't try and get too aggressive. Don't get flicky, don't keep the weight back because that's when we're gonna hit too much sand behind the ball. Flicky, we might catch it a little bit thin. Just focus on getting that weight forward, accelerating into the sand, leaving that small divot. Keep the face open for the nice lies and square it up. Remember to square it up so we can get through that sand and lower the expectations. Hope that's helped you, Adrian and Charlie. Plenty more requests to come. Well, let's get on to them.